So, ladies and gentlemen, as I sit here and scroll through the BS, um, in the groups that this Dan Bratman Jr., or Dan Bratman Robinson, um, decides that he's going to spew all over the world. So, it's time to take a little bit of a history lesson in clutching um, in the CF Moto world. So, I want to start by letting everyone know that before Vati Verico was ever heard of, and I have nothing at all against Vati Verico, they make uh, good helixes, um, and I do run their helixes. I have their helixes outside. I have had them in my machines. They're no longer in my machines, and I sold a few on eBay to get rid of them because we have the Stingray Mods helixes that are changed quite a bit from them. Now, I only had two of the Vati Verico helixes, and that was a 35 and the 40 degree. I didn't never have any of their other ones, never ordered them, never nothing. So here's the thing. Two and a half years ago, Ron, Larry, and myself was on a live stream and we were showing you guys that you could get helixes through Speedworks. And they will work in the CF Motos. But they didn't have the exact angles that we wanted. However, Arcticat built a mud pro back in 2010 all the way up to like 2013 i believe it was a four-wheeler and it used the cv tech lp3 secondary clutch which uses the very same helixes that we actually use today the only difference is, is they're all made by different companies you can get different degrees from 35 40 uh 45 you can get 50 degree helixes, you can get 52 degree helixes, you can get 58 degree helixes, you can get multi-angle helixes that say a, a 3545 or a 3544 or a 3542 or a 3040 or any variation that you want, you can get it out there. You're going to pay for it. Helixes are not cheap. They're made out of billet aluminum and that stuff takes time so they're not cheap. You can buy cast helixes that are cheap um, they're like really cheap. You can usually find them for about 50 bucks, but they're cast. They're the same as our stock ones. They're not really high quality. They're usable. They'll last a little while, but they're not high quality. They're cast. It's cast part. It is what it is. So RNG, Stingray Mods, Bonte Verico, and all the other clutch guys are not the first guys to do this with the LP3 secondary. None of us reinvented the wheel. All we did was take what was already out there and change it in our own little way. Some of us did. We, Air RNG and Stingray Mods, we changed our helixes to do different things at different angles that we do not disclose. Vati Verico, they basically just used what was already out there, 35 or 40, uh, a 3550 or 3852 or whatever it is that they have are pretty much already out there and been on the market since early Arcticat days with the Mud Pro build. So I hope this takes you into consideration and, and how things happen. Nobody put their hard work into nothing. This stuff has been around. However, you do make some changes. You do test it. See if it works. If it does what you like, then you bring it to market. But overall, the helixes and stuff for that LP3 secondary that RCF Motos use is already out there. You can get tons of springs for them, but you got to be careful because the Arcticat uses a different spring. It's same spring, but it's reverse from what ours is. So, but you can get other springs. If you do your research and you want to play around, you can find everything and you don't have to go through me, Vati Verico, or anybody to do it. You can do a simple Google search on Arcticat, Mud Pro, and I invite you to. Peace out and God bless.